Well, congratulations, Gary. Back to back wins, another clean sheet, and an Adam Doyle goal. It doesn't get much better than that, does it? No, it doesn't. Uh, you know, it's uh, been a very interesting week, there's no doubt about that. And, you know, I had no satisfaction as manager of the football club. Uh, only embarrassment and disappointment from my position last week uh, up at Hyde in respect of uh, having to come and talk to you and rightly so as an interview and apologise to everybody connected to the football club in respect of uh, the lack of commitment, I'll say them words, uh, what took place last weekend and you know on the Saturday, we were in on the Sunday and uh, we were in all afternoon last Sunday, we trained, we watched the DVD again and went through a few things and no, it wasn't a case of uh, feeling sorry for yourselves and sitting at home or doing this and doing that because we had to go to Lincoln on Tuesday and uh, they were against a team who were going very well so you know we responded very very well in that game and got a good result and as you say got a clean sheet and it was going to be another te test today and uh, you know I thought we were a little bit unlucky in respect of clear cut chances that we didn't uh, score early in what we did we hit the woodwork and had uh, one or two glaring opportunities we didn't take but uh, you know, as I say, it's rightly so. Um, we have to be stand up and uh, be counted the way, uh, the manner we went to work last weekend, but they took their criticism. They responded the right way. I think that uh, any club in any level of football who comes off of a, a result and a performance like we did last weekend, it's always going to be a big test going forward after. Mentally, uh, and physically how people take it in respect of it gets noticed by everybody them kind of score lines and to respond the way we have and get six points against two ex-football league clubs and I'll say two clean sheets uh, certainly affect uh, a few smiles back and making hopefully people pleased and look at it as a one-off day last Saturday. And when you look back at today, Gary, it was a tough game, wasn't it? It was a hard game and uh, it wasn't really that much between the two sides. As you rightly say, we did have the better opportunities, but it must have been in your mind that having not taken them, you know, heads might drop and yet they didn't. They got their heads up and kept going. We had to put a shift in, you have to put a shift in, John. You know, and it's the same in any level of football. If you want to get the rewards, you've got to turn around and put a shift in. And, you know, they made it hard for us. They made it very, very hard. And as I say, we had the journey up to Manchester last Saturday. We had the journey to Lincoln on Tuesday night. We trained again Thursday, and we're in against a, a tough, physical, big, strong Stockport side today. And as much as we had them chances, didn't take them. They had a lot of possession and it was going one way and the other, they, they were on top and then we got back in the game. We always looked very dangerous on the counter-attack and they had possession but you know it just proves that when you you know come through them little bits uh, or phases of games that if you hang in there and roll your sleeves up you get your reward and the man who got the goal was claiming the goal um, has done brilliant. You know, he's coming for two games, and when I say he's coming for two games, it's been a awkward time for Adam Doyle. He, he's got a promotion at work, and he, he feels, you know, that it's hard for him at times to give us the commitment what he wants to give us and needs to, but his first job comes first, which I understand and respect. But we had a chat about a few things, what we've got to do going forward, and that there. But the boy never sulks, he's not that sort of lad. Um, he's a player that me and Steve Thompson and Woking Football Club would always have uh, in the team uh, when the team is in the trenches and if there's any people you know that you do need and when things have gone like they had gone uh, a week ago Adam Doyle would run if not the first name on the sheet first of all that's for sure. And I presume he is claiming the goal because there seemed to be some doubt as to whether it was Billy Knott or Adam Doyle that got it. I don't know, I'm not really bothered to be honest there, but uh, I think that uh, it's fitting that Adam Doyle has claimed a goal. 
uh, as I say, I don't usually single players out. I, I like to say that collectively as a group, we win together, we lose together, and you enjoy the highs and you have to work hard when you have the lows. But I'm, I'm pleased for everybody. I'm, the supporters today have got behind the team. And then they probably turned up the day and said, you know, what Woking's going to turn up the day? Is it the one last Saturday up at Hyde, or is it going to be the one we hope, which was at Lincoln on Tuesday? I think they saw the commitment and the result which they wanted of the team what turned up at Lincoln on Tuesday and they've gone home here tonight, rightly so, rightly so, because they were shortchanged last week and very pleased with the team and the club they support and they will look at it like I do, that we won't get carried away but it's given us a, a platform that we'd only had one clean sheet uh, in the league for Tuesday way back in August and all of a sudden, as they say, no buses come along for three months and all of a sudden they start coming along and there was two at once. So. It's worked out well. And a break next week from league, league action. We're in the trophy up against Welling, a side that again doing very, very well under their manager Jamie Day. Yeah, Jamie's done very well there. You know, um, be a tough game. Be a very, very tough game. There's no doubt about that. Uh, we won't look at it and say to ourselves, well, we're playing another conference south side like, you know, Farnborough, and we've got a right to do this, we've got a right to do that. You can never tell in football. We've experienced that, the eyes and lows in a week. And you can't take nothing for granted. It'd be a tough game, but you know it's something we look forward to. Uh, I think the club have got a great history in the FA Trophy, um, and I think that we're capable of uh, going all the way if we perform the right way. There's no doubt about that. We feel that you know we are a club and we are a side on our day. We're hard to beat, and we need that consistency. But what we have got all of a sudden now is a. A bit of competition in the squad for places when you see you know Brett Johnson wasn't even involved in the 16 today nothing wrong with him and you look at the bench what you had and you look at the team that you had out in the park and there was no Lee Sawyer involved at all you can start to see a little bit of healthy competition which we need. Lovely thank you very much Gary enjoy your evening. Cheers. Right.